Hi, my name is Mike Montgomery, and today I'm gonna to show you how to build a modern concrete wall clock, just like this, on Modern Builds. So I'm starting this project by simply getting my clock motor and tracing it out on a piece of scrap melamine from another project. Then, I set my miter saw to a 10 degree angle and cut that piece out overside. Next, I needed to drill a hole right in the center of that piece so it could accept a dowel that's the same size as the shaft of my clock motor. Then I cut my 12 inch concrete tube form to size and used a compass to mark a circle. Now this gave me a center point that I could use to drill a hole for the dowel to go into, but it also gave me a reference for circle when I glued down my form. And I used hot glue to adhere the dowel to the melamine. And what this block does is it's gonna give a cavity for the clock motor to sit in. And I used hot glue all the way around the form. That way, no concrete could get out. Now this is quarter inch wire mesh that I'm going to use as reinforcement in the middle of the concrete. I made one mold before this and it broke because it didn't have any reinforcement and it was too thin. So this time when I mixed up my concrete, I went ahead and poured half of it. Then I put the mesh in and poured the rest. And be sure that while you pour that concrete, you work the concrete underneath that melamine in the middle. That way you're sure to get it all in there. Once I had it pretty smooth, then I used a rubber mallet to vibrate a lot of the air bubbles out. Another really cool way to do it is to use a vibrating sander. It works really fast and does a really good job. Then I let my concrete sit for two days, and then I could drill out the dowel and pop out that piece in the center. Once I pulled off the mold, I went ahead and installed a hanger. I just drilled a hole and then filled it with epoxy. Then I could put my little hanger in with a screw. Now because the center hole for my shaft wasn't perfect, I used a fender washer and painted it white to match the hands of the clock. Then I could go ahead and install everything. And I'll be sure to leave links to all of the materials and supplies that I used in my written article, so check the description for the link to that. And once I put a battery in the clock motor, all I had to do was hang it up. Now this thing came out really awesome. I love working with concrete because every time you do a project, no two come out the exact same. Concrete is really unique in that way. So thanks a lot for watching. If this is your first time to my channel, I wanna say welcome as well as please subscribe because I put out a new project video every week and you'll definitely wanna stay updated with those. If you enjoyed this project, don't forget to hit that thumbs up that lets me know what kind of projects you guys are into and what you might wanna see next. If you wanna keep up with me throughout the week, Instagram is the best place to do that. That is where I post most often and where I'm most easily reached. Don't forget, if you've got any questions, leave me a comment below. I try to get to all of those and answer all of them. And if you plan on building this project for yourself, don't forget to check out my written article. It's gonna give you a written step-by-step -step instruction as well as a materials and supplies list. Otherwise, that's all I've got, and I'll see you next time on Modern Builds.